Mercedes-Benz is the most successful luxury car manufacturer in India and because of their success, we benefit. They offer the most comprehensive range of performance machines in our country. I'm talking about the incredible AMG GTR, the mental E63S and what about the legendary G63 AMG? 2019 kicks off with a bang, but it's a van. They call it the V-Class and it starts at 68 lakh rupees. But in this trim, it costs 82 lakh rupees. That's more than an E-Class. The seats are upholstered in fine Napa leather, accented with premium trim to match. You can enjoy your lunch on the picnic table, watch the scenery go by and listen to some new jazz on the premium 10-speaker Burmeister audio system. And all of this is put together using solid Mercedes-Benz build quality. Behind the wheel, this is unlike an ordinary van. For Germans, drivability is top priority and drive well it does. This is powered by a four-cylinder, two-liter diesel engine, the OM651 that produces 160 bhp, 380 newton meters of torque, which I know on paper doesn't sound like much, but chuck it into sports mode and it does zero to 100 in just under 11 seconds. That's Polo GT territory, folks. And then in the corners, it's a lot more impressive. Independent suspension all around with adaptive dampers means that it handles very sedan-like. And since you sit higher up without a great big bonnet blocking your view, you have a commanding view of the road. The 7G Tronic, not the most loved Mercedes gearboxes in its range, of course, not as refined as the 9G Tronic, but here it does a pretty decent job. To give this car a more sedan-like feel, they have given it a lot more sedan-like features. I'm talking about heated front seats, a 10-speaker Burmeister audio system, cruise control, all these features just add up because you can genuinely enjoy this car on long drives. There is the intelligent adaptive LED lighting system that not only scans the road up ahead but can also detect oncoming traffic and can automatically adjust the intensity and level of the headlights to give you the most optimal vision. I'm starting to understand why Mercedes calls this an elevated sedan. All right, negatives, things that I think that could have been improved. First off, I'm not a big fan of the brakes. I think they could have used with a bit more bite, a bit more feedback. And then back to the engine again. This OM651 unit is a little bit dated by today's standards. And it's a little bit weird because Mercedes also offers the updated OM654 unit, which is a lot more refined. Over 2,800 RPM, this engine does make quite a bit of noise. And then there is the fact that this is a luxury car that doesn't come with the option of a petrol motor or a sunroof. The Toyota Alpha, granted that it's not directly available in India at the moment, but you can get it imported, offers both. All right, pretty impressive. But the most pertinent question with this vehicle is, who is it exactly for? The only customer I can imagine is somebody with a lot of money, obviously, but somebody with a weird sense of humor if this is going to be their primary vehicle. And most importantly, someone with zero interest in cars. Hello. What are you doing here, Kanan? Oh, I live here. Actor, writer and comedian Kanan Gill. Yes, that's right, Glenn. What are you doing with the V-Class? Just hanging out. Do you enjoy the car? Yes. Uh, and might I tell you, Glenn, this is the most luxurious, most spacious car in the entire world. Why is there a smoke machine? Because there's space for it. Bro. You do know that Mercedes makes a Maybach, right? Yes. Which is one of the most luxurious cars on earth. Sorry, just one second. Right. Can you talk to someone like this in a Maybach? Right. I will. We can play Uno. Glenn. Fair enough. What right. more do you want from a car? <laughs> you pay so much for this machine. There's no privacy in this car. The windows don't roll down. You don't even have blinds. And you can add blinds if you want. Would you want the company to do everything for you? Yeah. But if you forget your jacket, you'll be like, oh, can't believe most doesn't provide a jacket. <laughs> If it's a luxury car, I would expect them to offer me a little bit of privacy, which the Maybach does offer, by the way. The real question is, what is it that you're trying to hide? I'm not trying to hide if it. If you buy this, I'll get you. That's on me. The curtain's on me. Seats. Yes. Pretty comfortable. This is Napa leather. Perfect for taking a Napa. But have you tried moving them around? They're impossible to move around. I found an ideal orientation. I mean, would you sit like this? But it's impossible to move around, Karan. Like you go to a plane and be like, well, you guys can't move the seats. This aeroplane. But that's a plane. Yeah, this is a van. 
We're just saying stuff. This is a table. It's a roof. <laughs> All right, dude. There's one thing I think the both of us can agree on is that this car has a great audio system. It has the best audio system. It has 10 speakers, which is the most speakers that have ever been put in the same place. Uh, you know that? That's a fact. No, it's not. There are cars with over 16 speaker audio systems. Let me guess, it's the Maybach. One of them, yes. Man, you have such a boner for this car, dude. It's a nice car, dude, come on. Hey, listen to this song. Right? Family song for a family car. About murdering your family. The guy who wrote this really had something going on for him. Must have had some issues. Yeah, for sure. Deep, deep issues. Glenn, you know what? I'll concede. There's one huge fatal flaw in this car. There's no sunroof. What are you gonna do with a sunroof? What if some child has dropped juice? And you wanna dry the kid, you just... Dry child. Whatever, you know, when people buy Mercedes cars, they're like, oh, I'm gonna buy a nice sedan or a cool SUV, which is cool. Hmm. But a van. You know when you see someone in a cool car, mm -hmm. and then they get out of the car, mm -hmm. and the car is still cool, yeah. and the person is not cool anymore? I'll give you an example. This car is one crore. Yes. Suppose both you and I had one crore each right. in a big suitcase. Uh -huh. We're at the Mercedes showroom. Uh -huh. I buy this car. Sure. What do you buy? So for that money, I'm gonna buy a cool car, bro. And it's the SLC 43 AMG. So we should celebrate now that we bought these cars. I agree. We go to a place to celebrate. Sure, sounds good. You pull up to the club. Exactly, rolling up to the club. Rolling up to the club and I come behind you in a van with your full family. Right. That can't fit in your car. Already they like me more than you. They're like, oh man, Glenn doesn't even take us in his car because there's no place. There's no place for us in his car. There's no place for us in his life. They start to think. Suddenly they don't like you anymore. And I'm saying, hey Glenn, I'm going to the club with your family. What do you do? It takes you five minutes to get out of your small two-door car. And then your suit is crushed and you're like, I might as well go back. But it takes 10 minutes to get back into your car. You don't even make it to the party. And you know where the party is? This is, this is the, party. the party. This is the party, Glenn. Remember, Remember my words. Remember my words, Glenn. Remember my words, Glenn. Glenn. The Mercedes V-Class is where the party is at, but the problem is, folks, is that we don't know if the nation wants to party in a van or until we get an answer if India is ready to shift its attention from SUVs to luxury vans. Okay, I was initially skeptical about the idea of a luxury van, but the more I think about it, I'm convinced, especially for our market. They're big, they're practical and they're comfortable. The V-Class, however, only time will tell if Mercedes' experiment is going to pay off I'll go up and smoke. Dude! Sorry, forgot my smoke machine. <laughs>